Welcome back to another episode of Fishing Brothers. I was just in the fishing shack. I forgot to introduce the fishing shack in the last video. This is going to be my new fishing abode. Everything fishing related is going to go in here. I'm going to try and get everything sorted. I've got the rods up there on some on some hooks. I've got some rods going up along there and i got some stuff along here. Uh, I'm going to try and get this place looking awesome. But um, we were out last night and we were fishing for bass. We didn't hit into any bass, but uh, as high tide was approaching, the water was slacking off a little bit. Tom said, let's throw out some big baits. So Tom put a full full squid out. It must have been about six inches long, hit it out. Kind of been five, four or five minutes, and he didn't do his first conger. Decently sized conger, pushing the 10 pound mark. And then straight after, same thing again, put the big bait out, got a half decent conger in again. Classic, Owen didn't catch anything. So I thought, I'm going to make a little video out of this and I might start making these little shorts and just adding them in in between bigger episodes. So for those episodes where, or those sessions that aren't quite as successful but where I do manage to get a few, or we manage to get a few fish, I'm going to start making little shorts and posting them. So let me know if you like them. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy it. It's not going to be very long at all. It's just in the dark, a couple of congas. So uh, yeah, like I say, let us know if you enjoy it. And uh, I'll get this in now. Respect the fish and respect the marks. Tight lines. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Is that feeling, Tom? Yeah, it's feeling all right, man. I've just put a big, a big whole squid bait out on a, on a slightly bigger rig over I was. We've been fishing two O's, trying to catch some bass with some crabs, and what? Well, just lost. I think it's just gone. Still it some weight there, man. It doesn't feel like it's pulling back very much. Here we go. Locked up. Oh, big, big head banging. Here it goes. Hopefully this is a nice big conger. Uh, I, I, I don't know where there's going to be a nice. It's known for congers around this area. We've seen them like up to about 30. Here it comes, man. It's coming quite easy now. Oh, Kong, there. Yeah. Look at the pain. Give it a good account for himself. Oh, it's not too bad. He's got some shoulders. Gonna leave it. I know you're hungry for eel. <laughs> Stop licking it, Ken. Come on. I'll laugh at him. He's got a really, you. really big head, that fish. You have, man. I'm surprised been a lot of big shrimp about lately and obviously where we've just had a lot of rain I think it's washed a lot of shrimp and maybe small fry down the river and into here anyway here we are we've got to be 10 pound eight between eight and 10 pound but I'm gonna see got a head of a much bigger fish anyway we? should we get a release on camera yeah let's get him in all right let's let it go off he goes back down into the foot in I'm scared to wash my hands in here now. <laughs> anyway, let's get another big bait out ASAP. BC weed fish. Is it weed? No, it's a small fish. Oh, it's a little conger. Oh, it's not, it's not, it's not too little. Set it back. Lots of rocks, man. Oh, conger number two. Conger number two. Uh, second time I've put a whole squid bait out in the, in the second fish. This one's a lot smaller, man, probably around about four pounds, something like that. Yeah, send him back on his way. Get the aerial. Um, we just got to chuck this one in, I think. Go on. Very aerodynamic. 